everybody. Uh, this is Sally from the zoo and happy National Zoo Lovers Day. Uh, today, April 8th, is National Zoo Lovers Day and so we're going to do something special. It's also Wednesday, so hop day. So we thought we would give you an update on our, <laughs> on our little baby camel here. <laughs> As you can tell, she's got a little bit of energy. Um, so this is Erin and Erin's going to talk to you a little bit about the camel. And then we'll make an announcement about a naming contest. Yeah, I mean, I don't know what everybody wants to know, but she's about a month old now. And she weighs right around three, no, not three, sorry, 151 pounds is what she was yesterday. So she's gained like 50 pounds since she was born, a little less because she's a little bigger. Um, because we're feeding her milk every day, she's gotten really used to us. She still loves hanging out with her mom and goes to her mom when she's scared, but she also likes to hang out with us as well. She likes to be scratched, she likes to explore new things. <laughs> she likes to play. She likes to play. And she's starting to eat just a little bit of food. So I was gonna see if she wanted to taste this grain. What do we think? She has to chew things a lot. She does have some teeth in there, but not a ton. But she's starting to just eat a little bit. So this is what her mom eats, just a little bit of a specially formulated grain. That's really good for camels. And at this age, she'd start kind of nibbling on stuff. So she nibbles on a little bit of hay, and we've been giving her just a little bit of solid food to start getting her the taste of that. And she seems to like it, so that's good. And you can see too, when she was born, if you look back at some of the other videos, she didn't have any humps. Because as you can imagine, it'd be really hard to give birth to something with such crazy long legs, crazy long neck, and humps. <laughs> so she's just starting to fill in. So I can feel that there's a nice layer of fat forming. That's what camel humps are made out of, is fat. So she's got a nice little hump going there, and a nice little hump going here. Um, they're covered in hair, of course, but there's fat under there. So that's a good food reserve for her, and that's an indication that she's getting all the good nutrition that she needs from the bottles that we're giving her. If you look at previous videos too, we haven't been measuring her, but she is taller. <laughs> so she has been growing. She has really long legs, that's for sure. And so, um, so she'll still be getting her bottle though for maybe six months, yeah. I guess it depends. Mm -hmm. oh, she loves to be scratched. And so oh, we do take her out in the arena um, several times a week, and that is just to have, help her get used to people because she has to be able to live kind of a dual life where she um, spends time off, you know, off, knows how to be a camel and behave like a camel, but she also has to understand humans and how to navigate life with humans as well. And she's doing pretty well at that. Yeah, she's doing great. <laughs> I know she likes to kick a little, that's why I kind of step back once in a while. So today, Jeremiah is gonna put on Facebook a a naming contest, so you can just select which one is your favorite name. It'll be on this video. It's on this video? Oh, yep. perfect. So the name that we have chosen is Kulan, uh, Sarne, or Zaya. So we want to see you guys at home what you think the baby camel should be named. So make sure you look for that. Hi, hon. Hi there. Mom still keeps a watchful eye over what's happening with her baby. One question we get a lot is, um, because we're a cool adapted zoo and we live in North Dakota, a lot of times people will ask us why we have camels in our collection. Maybe you can talk about that, Erin? Oh yeah, these are very cool camels. These are Bactrian camels. They're a little different than the camel that you commonly see. Um, as we, we were talking about earlier, they have two humps instead of one. So the one hump camel is a dromedary camel and they come mainly from Africa and the Middle East. These uh, Bactrian camels, they come from the Gobi Desert in China and Mongolia and they're adapted for a, a slightly different life. They still live in a desert, which means they're adapted for living in a dry area, but they're also um, adapted to live in an area that has kind of a similar climate to Fargo. So in, in Mongolia and China, it gets super cold in the winter. So they grow these really thick coats, and you can see, I mean, how much hair she's got on her top of her humps and hair all over her eyes and uh, her ears and her head, and that all protects her. And then in the summer, when it gets hot, that coat comes off. And if you look at Amara, um, I don't know if you can get a shot of her shoulder or even her face. So this winter coat is starting to peel off. And you can see around her eyes here and at the top of her head. Oh, see, I'm just pulling it out in chunks. So her winter coat is starting to shed. Oh, you're a troublemaker. <laughs> and um, pretty soon 
by the time we get to June and July, when it's really hot, she won't have any of the stick hair on her anymore, and then she'll start growing a new coat for winter. All right. All right, guys, so these are our two camels that we just want to show you a little bit today. Again, check out that naming contest. We really want to see what name you guys pick so we can start uh, documenting the baby's name and calling her by her name. So happy National Zoo Lovers Day, and we hope you all are well, and we'll see you soon.